And new at 10 o'clock, Brentwood police are getting some new equipment, a set of body cameras. Brentwood is one of the last agencies here in Middle Tennessee to outfit their officers with cameras. WSMV's Danielle Jackson is live in studio with us. And Danielle, how are they saying this will help with accountability? Marius, Assistant Police Chief Jim Colvin says it's another layer of accountability and transparency for both the citizens and the officers. He says they wanted to find the right product, come up with body cam policies, and ensure that the city's taxpayers' dollars are going to good use. Brentwood Police Department extending accountability both ways as they plan to implement new body cameras and upgrade their patrol car cameras too. This week, the city unanimously approved the purchase. You know, when officers leave their patrol car and they go engage in an activity away from their car outside of the camera view, a lot of times that activity will then be discussed in their report. It'll come into court. So it's something that defense attorneys will want to see. It's something that the prosecuting attorneys will want to see. And it's a layer of protection for the officers as well. 17 year police veteran. Brentwood Assistant Chief Jim Colvin says they've had time to study other area police departments use of body cameras. They've purchased 60 body cameras and 55 in car cameras. It takes a long time to put all those things together. We feel like we're in a great position now to move forward with body cameras and it's going to be great for our officers and our community. Longtime Brentwood resident Ann Bozeman thinks this is needed. I think it's a good plan um, for our, our county, for Brentwood, for the police officers and for anybody that they might stop that might think they have a problem that there's proof one way or the other. Whenever an officer is engaged with someone in the community, the cameras should activate. The cameras have um, certain triggers and they'll be activated by the blue lights in the car or sometimes when they remove something from their utility belt. Uh, so the cameras can be automatically triggered. They can also be triggered manually. Our officers are actually excited about this. So we had uh, a handful of officers that have tested multiple products. They liked the Axon product. And right now, the department hopes the cameras will arrive in the next six to eight months, but they are unsure of a definite timeline because of supply chain issues, but they're planning to phase them in whichever comes first. Tracy Marks. Great to hear tonight. Danielle yes. Jackson, thank you. And